Mr. Speaker, taxpayer money should not be used for abortion, period. Taxpayer money should not be used to support abortion providers, period. As Americans, we are proud to support life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yet last fiscal year, $554 million of taxpayer money went to support Planned Parenthood, which is in the same year was responsible for the deaths of 323,999 innocent babies, even dismembering and selling baby parts. These lost children are a deep scar on our nation. My colleagues on the other side of the aisle will have countered that Planned Parenthood does more than provide abortions. Well, let's take a look at the facts. According to Planned Parenthood's own 2014-2015 annual report, cancer screenings are down 27 percent. Family planning contraceptive services are down 18 percent. STD prevention and treatments are down 6 percent. Planned Parenthood services declined in the same year that they received nearly 5 percent increase in federal funding. Mr. Speaker, we are accountable to the American taxpayer dollars. H.R. 3762, the Restoring Americans Health Care Freedom Reconcili Act, Reconciliation Act, defunds Planned Parenthood and shifts those same taxpayer dollars to the much larger network of community health clinics that do not provide abortions. This legislation will increase access to health care services for women while upholding and strengthening the value of life.